All right, we're back again with another example on Kirchhoff's voltage law. Um, what we want to do is we want to find out what the voltage drops across each of these resistors are, and then we can confirm that we've got everything right at the end by using Kirchhoff's current law and just checking that the current going in and out of each junction is summing to zero. So let's start with the loop on the right side. Okay. You might not recognize what the voltage across this resistor is right now, and that's fine if you don't, so we can just label it on as an unknown. And then Kirchhoff's voltage law says the algebraic sum of the voltages around the loop is zero. So what we need to do is just go around the loop. Every time we enter the negative terminal of an element, we consider it a negative. And if we enter the positive terminal of an element, we consider it a positive, And we add them up and set it all to zero. So if you don't know what the polarity of an element is, it's fine. You can just guess. You can just put something on like this. And then we can proceed with Kirchhoff's voltage law. So we'll go around the loop. And we'll enter the negative terminal of the 6 volt battery. So we have negative 6 volts, and then we have negative V. So minus V is equal to 0, because we only have two elements in this loop. So if we started here, we go through one, we go through another one, and we're back to this point. So we can just rearrange this. We get negative V is just equal to 6 volts, or we can find that V itself is just equal to negative 6 volts. Now what this negative sign is indicating to us is that we actually just have the polarity backwards to what it really is. So we can do ourselves a favor and just switch that to what it should be. So we can go like this and we can have positive and negative. And then we could update the expression if we really wanted so we could that this would be a positive, that would be a positive, and that would be a positive. And then we can label it on as a known so it is actually 6 volts. So that is determining the middle resistor using Kirchhoff's voltage law. But also you could have recognized from the beginning that everything here is one single node. Let's shade it like that. And then everything on this side is a different node. Okay, so we can shade these in two different colors. And according to the battery as well, it just says that the negative terminal is six volts less than the positive terminal. And so everything that's connected to the negative terminal on this node in, in blue is six volts less than basically everything that's connected to the positive terminal in red. And then you can see here that the voltage drop from the red side to the blue side would have to be 6 volts, with the red side being 6 volts higher than the red side. But we were also able to come to that uh, without actually using that analysis and just purely using Kirchhoff's voltage law. But really, when you're solving these kind of problems, you should just use whatever you have available to you. So if you see something easy like that, then go for it. So if we now want to find the voltage drop across the 4 ohm resistor, we can label that on as V. And we can do Kirchhoff's voltage law again in this loop. We'll go clockwise around. So let's start down here. We're going to enter the negative terminal of the 9 volt battery. So we'll have negative 9 volts. We need to assign a polarity here. Let's just guess and put plus and minus. It's probably going to be that way as voltage likes to drop across resistors, you know, coming from the positive side. But if we get a negative, that's fine. We can deal with that later. So we'll have plus V. And then we're going to come into the negative terminal of the 6 volt resistor. So we'll put that in as a negative in our expression, negative 6 volts, and that all has to sum to 0 because by the time we get back to here, we're back at our starting point. So we can just bring the 9 and the 16 to the other side, and we're just going to get that V is equal to 15 volts. So that's just indicating to us that the negative side of the resistor is 15 volts less than the positive side. And we determined that with Kirchhoff's voltage law. You also could have recognized that this battery here, it's 9 volt battery, so this terminal is 9 volts higher than this terminal. And if you follow that node around to see here, this terminal of this battery is 6 volts higher than this terminal. So this whole node in the top right has to be 6 plus 9 volts less than this terminal over here, which is 15 as well. But again, if you don't recognize that or it's not possible based on the specific problem that you're working with, then that's fine. Just apply Kirchhoff's voltage law and you should be able to solve as well. So we've already solved for the voltage drop across both resistors, but if you're not entirely sure if you've done everything right, you can check the junctions using Kirchhoff's current law. So let's check the current that's going across this branch with the 3 ohm resistor. We have, with ohm's law, we have V equals IR. So we can just rearrange for I to be equal to V over R. And the voltage drop here is 6 volts over the resistance of 3 ohms. So we're going to find the current in this branch to be 2 amps. And it is going up as we have this positive value when we're flowing from the positive side to the negative side. So we can label on coming into this junction here as well as 2 amps. And here is 2 amps. And then we can check the current flowing across the other resistor as well. It's going to be coming into this node. 
And we can also use Ohm's law rearranged for current. So we have I is equal to V over R. So the voltage drop was 15 volts over a resistance of four ohms. And that gives us a current of 3.75 amps. We can label that up here, 3.75 amps. And then looking at this junction, we have two amps coming in and 3.75 amps coming in. So that's a total of 5.75 amps coming in. So we have to have 5.75 amps coming out. We can label that on here as 5.75 amps. So that is Kirchhoff's current law, just stating that the, the algebraic sum of the currents flowing into a junction has to be equal to zero. So this 5.75 amps is going to come around this branch and basically enter in this node here. So we can label it on as well as 5.75 amps. And then applying Kirchhoff's current law at this junction, we have 5.75 in, we have two amps out, and so we still have to have 3.75 amps coming out for that to net to zero. So we can label that on as well. 3.75 amps and then if we follow that around through this branch through this resistor again and we see that that's exactly what's coming into this junction so everything looks like we have done it correctly